my dear sisters, your excellencies, first ladies, chairman of executive board of Merck Foundation, Professor Frank Stangenberg Havenkop, CEO Merck Foundation, Dr. Raja, ladies and gentlemen, and all participants joining us this afternoon. I wish you all a very good afternoon. And I'd just like to echo what my other sister said, that I'm delighted to see you again after a very long time. My sisters, I'm immensely delighted to be in attendance to participate at the Merck Foundation First Ladies Initiative Summit, which gives all of us, ambassadors of Merck more than a mother, an opportunity to share experiences and progress on our joint programs with Merck Foundation. In particular, to highlight those initiatives which are in direct response to the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic, which is unprecedented globally, continues to threaten and take lives while stealing our livelihoods through its economic toll and burden on all health systems. We have all experienced in one way or another how households are impacted by this pandemic. Furthermore, we are aware how the pandemic has impacted women and girls in disproportionate ways greater than other population groups. These current times, more than ever before, demand that as mothers of our respective nations, we reflect upon the unique responsibilities which come with our role. I wish therefore to take this opportunity to thank Merck for providing this platform where we can share notes regarding our valuable partnership with them. Excellencies, First Ladies of Africa, my dear sisters, we started our partnership with Merck Foundation in 2018. The main, the main benefit from this partnership has been in the area of capacitating our doctors, which adds to our human capital pool of health experts. We have since then been able to implement the first pilot project of Merck Foundation Diabetes Blue Points program program, as we all know, designed to improve access to equitable and quality diabetes care across Botswana. The program, which is primarily for doctors, is provided through a one-year online postgraduate diploma in diabetes management. Candidates who scored a distinction in the postgraduate diploma course are then enrolled on the online master's in diabetes management. After completion, these doctors should then be able to establish a diabetes clinic in their health centers with the aim of preventing or managing the disease in their respective communities. This initiative aligns very well with the country's strategy to strengthen primary health services. In particular, I must mention that it is in alignment with our Botswana's five-year national strategic framework on NCDs, launched in June 2019 by our President, His Excellency Dr. Mukweti Eric Gabezunasis. To date, I'm happy to report that seven doctors have graduated from the one year diploma. Of these seven, two have enrolled as candidates for the one year master degree course. In addition, we have nine candidates that have enrolled onto the online diabetes master course created by Diabetes UK. We have also enrolled seven doctors to a one-year online postgraduate diploma in sexual reproduction medicine. And I'm closely in contact with the Ministry of Health and Wellness to ensure that these unique opportunities are seriously pursued so that women's health and in particular reproduction health is significantly improved in my country. The overall purpose is the establishment of a strong platform of fertility experts nationwide who can contribute effectively to our objectives to break the infertility stigma. Furthermore, we have enrolled two doctors to a one-year online postgraduate diploma in endocrinology or preventative cardiovascular medicines. This offering by Merck Foundation was as a direct response to the coronavirus outbreak. Doctors have enrolled for a one-year online postgraduate diploma in respiratory medicines and another one-year online postgraduate diploma in acute medicine. These programs are intended to advance the doctor's skills in these fields to better manage COVID-19 patients. All these programs 
will add immense value to the health sector in Botswana. Similar to other sub-Sahara countries, we know there's a critical shortage of local specialists at our public facilities. Excellencies, I note with satisfaction that Merck Foundation is strongly committed to advancing public health care sector across Africa. This act of generosity is no doubt a valuable contribution to our social and economic development, especially in light of the current global pandemic and the resultant health challenges. My office has deferred the launch of more than a mother campaign because of the current pandemic. But I must report that there's a team that is being constituted comprising our Ministry of Health and Wellness and my office to organize this much awaited launch. We will pursue the other Merck More Than a Mother initiatives, i.e. the Fashion Awards, the media training, the media recognition awards, and the song with local creatives. GBV is currently a concern in my country. Headlines around gender-based violence are common. You would see child case rape rise during lockdown. Police reveal shocking rape statistics. All these are all too familiar during the pandemic. Women and girls are suffering a second pandemic, which is gender-based violence, sexual abuse, rape, and killing in some extreme cases. As African First Ladies, the vulnerable are naturally looking up to us to make our contribution to act, to speak louder as we use our advocacy stage. May I then at this point request Merck Foundation to support our messaging in our advocacy and awareness efforts in this regard of GBV. And I was thinking the other day that perhaps we could have a poster competition. Posters posted all around to send this very strong message that no to GBV. We could also have a singing competition, again, sending out the same strong message. Let me conclude by appreciating the vision and strategic approach of the Merck Foundation in providing specialty training in very important fields that we need. These programs have proved to be worthy indeed, particularly in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. They will not only advance healthcare capacity in Africa, but they will also be a motivation for our doctors and nurses who are the frontliners during this novel pandemic. Excellencies, I wish to once again thank Merck Foundation for hosting us today. Professor Danke Shon and Turaja Shukran for the continued partnership with our countries and particularly these valuable programs which serve to advance our healthcare sector to be able to cope with challenges of the century. I look forward to meeting you all at the seventh edition of the Merck Africa Asia Luminary to be held in Zambia in 2021. My dear sisters, until we meet again in person, may I wish you all, together with your families, good health and stay safe. I thank you.